You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. Hello, Internet, and... Hello. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> Welcome, brothers, to their Tad Pog podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, We're talking about Randy Savage. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll put stuff in the show notes. I'll make that. That'll probably, that'll probably be our stinger. Yeah, stick around to the end of the show. You'll understand. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna probably make that the stinger. So. <laughs> yeah. so today we're gonna be talking about. Frantic flea. Frantic flea. Frantic flea. So, yeah, I got, I've got things to say about frantic <laughs> Boy, flea. So do I, <laughs> girls. <hey. laughs> but before all that, before before the section known as game talk, first we have this intros. <laughs> this. This. this thing, <laughs> what we're doing. So wait, it's come to this. <laughs> Is this a show? I mean. I'm, Sorta. Of. Are we <laughs> sitting around? Wait, do we have a name for it? Maybe. You're part of it, but your name's not in it, so I don't know. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> I understand. This is Tad Pog, Tyler, and Ian play old games. Gotcha. It's an internet radio show. Internet radio. Or some people call it a Pump blog. Up the that's what people ask me if I'm still doing my blog. Your blog. <laughs> technically, technically. It- Runs on WordPress, so <laughs> there's an argument to be made that this is, in fact, a blog. A, a, a vlog. A voice All, an, blog. An A-log. An a, a, a log We're pirate radio. We're, we're internet pirate radio. Yeah. Just like Christian Slater and pump up the volume. That's right. Good Lord. So what have you guys I, been up to this week? I often week? say we're a lot like Christian Slater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's pretty good in my, Mr. Robot. He's come a, he's come a long way. Uh, this week, I've watched a lot of shit, and I'm playing a lot of games. It's a good time uh, for in that. In addition to Ooh. Frantic Flea. A lot of games out. <clears throat> yes. Um, the first thing I watched was a movie on, I don't know where it's, where it if it's streaming, I can't remember where I watched it. It's called the Organ Trail. The Organ Trail, as like in bodily, bodily organs. organs, not Oregon. Electric Hammonds or Oregon, if or the, you the or piano. Oregon, as in the first part of the word Oregano. Oregano. It's Organ Trail, and it takes place a uh, long time. The Oregon 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 Trail. Now I can't say it right, <laughs> and. Uh, it's a it's a suspenseful, action packed, very good movie, and I don't really want to get into like the plot points because it just starts off right away, and it's a super interesting watch. Is it a fiction movie? It's a fictional movie. Because I can it's see it also a be a documentary it's about not a like documentary. Oregon on the black market. <laughs> no, right. no, it's just, and I'm not even a hundred. They lead you to believe that it's a horror movie, I was especially ask because if it's a of its movie. title. Mm-hmm. But really, it's not. It's more of a suspense movie. Um, I will at least say it starts off with this family who is having to leave their cabin on the mountain because of a storm and they, they, a snowstorm and they get in their wagon and pack up and they go down into the valley to get away from the storm to ride it out and bad things happen after they get down into the valley. Mm. So, uh, definitely give that a shot because I really, it was a surprise. I'd never heard of it. Uh, Tanya put it put it on the TV when we were having dinner the other day, and I just was like, "Oh fuck, this is pretty good." So cool. it was a, it was a pleasant surprise. Um, another movie I watched since we spoke last is The Flash. Oh yeah, <laughs> I finally got to see The Flash. Um, Ezra Miller, notwithstanding, it was a pretty good movie. It was a lot of fan service. There was a lot of. And it, it was sort of like the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness of DC because it. Flash is the one that pretty much kicks off the whole multiverse. Okay. And that happens in the show and stuff. I mean, that's canon. Um, Flash, in these movies, he's a lot more neurotic, and he's, you know, Hmm. it's weird. But 
uh, there was a whole bunch of fan service, um, really cool moments in the movie. I would say on the whole, the movie wasn't awesome. You know, it wasn't great, but it was a fun watch. Uh, and it had, of course, the inevitable uh, Quicksilver from X-Men scene where, mm. you know, he's got to save a bunch of shit all at once and time's basically stopped and he's running around eating burritos, saving babies and stuff. Um, there wasn't anything in it that... There were a couple of really surprising... Uh, one really heartfelt, heart-touching moment for me uh, as a fan of old school DC and I'm not going to spoil it because it's a, it's a thing. And, uh, there was another kind of funny moment in the movie that I did not know about. Uh, I'm sure it's been spoiled by now for everybody else and I'm not going to bring it up either. Um, but it was fun. I liked it. Cool. I thought, I thought it was okay. Um, just had to put my feelings about the lead actor aside you know, for the for the thing. Have and you seen a lot of the DC movies? I've seen all of them. You've seen all of them. Yeah. I um, so I haven't seen like I guess really any of them that were I guess considered well, to be like. Let me interrupt. Yeah, yeah. I I did not see all of Black Adam. I've seen like bits and pieces of Black Adam, but I've never sat what? down and actually watched it. You know, watch the Rock's orgy party of a movie uh -uh. or ego orgy party. Yeah. Just what self indulgence I saw, personified. <laughs> what I saw of Black Adam, I was not terribly impressed with, but I, you know, whatever. I've seen like the DC movies that are, I guess, outside of their cinematic universe, uh -huh. I guess. Like, I don't know, is the Batman, that's like outside of it, right? It's just part of the multiverse. They're, I, they're rolling it all in as multiverse gotcha. okay, stuff okay. because, as a, anyone who watches a screen, in the modern world knows Michael Keaton's Batman was in the flash. Mm -hmm. And that's not one of the things mm -hmm. I was trying to prevent from mm -hmm. spoiling. Everyone knows Wait, the he's vulture? in that movie. Yeah. The vulture, <laughs> uh, Birdman, uh, J uh, Batman, Jack Frost, no, circa 1992. Yes. Jack Frost, Mr. Mom, multiplicity. Oh. It's this guy that we know, Michael Keaton. Anyway, Beetlejuice? He did it. Huh? Beetlejuice? Yes, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is in the Oh, movie. you said it a third time. <laughs> 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 That's okay. I'd like to meet the guy. Anyway. I, I feel like they were trying to push that to be like, we know Ezra Miller sucks, but Michael Keaton's in the movie. That's pretty much what they did. <laughs> yeah. And I will tell you that... If Michael Keaton in the story that revolves around Michael Keaton and his Batman wasn't in it, it would not have been anywhere close to as good. But what was neat is seeing like sort of where the Batman universe of that of the original Batman movies mm -hmm. sort of evolved into. Huh. Uh and I, that's what I found really neat about it was the storytelling. Yeah, um, it was it was a pretty interesting story, and I actually very much liked it. But I'm sorry, you were going to say uh, you watched I, some well, off universe kind of stuff. Yeah, I the reason I asked is because um, I saw a little bit of what might have been Aquaman, maybe the way that it was intended to be viewed uh, on like a. 14 inch monitor glancing up at the gym through a fish tank <laughs> and yeah i was underwater You're right i uh legitimately i'm gonna shit on whatever movie this was it which was i think probably, was aquaman it was jason momoa yeah, yeah are, is there aquaman. more than one aquaman movie out or is it just the one well he was i think there was two i want to well, say two was the whole big thing to have amber heard amber heard plays his mother yeah. Maybe they haven't done two yet. I don't know. I haven't seen... I've only seen Aquaman once. Whatever this movie was, Jason Momoa as Aquaman was definitely in it. And when I glanced up, I legitimately thought they were running an SNL rerun. Like, I was... <laughs> like, I legit... Like, and it might have just been that shot, but it looked like... I was like, oh, Jason Momoa's on SNL? And then I, like, oh, kind of, yeah. like, <laughs> watch for a couple more seconds. I'm like... This is a movie. Right. Yeah. Uh, Aquaman is a little bit more, I think, of a comedic kind of thing. They kind of don't take it. They doesn't take itself very seriously. Yeah. But again, I've only seen it the one time. And I know he had a lot in, he was in Justice League. Um, That was his first appearance in the new DCEU or gotcha. whatever. And there was, he was silly as fucking that too. So it could have been Justice League. Maybe. But, I, I really don't know. But I was like, I mean, I was, and that's 
not a joke. It was one of those where it's like, I legitimately yeah. thought it was like SNL or something. And again, I mean, it's on like a small screen and shit. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you know, but like, it was just kind of the way that it was lit and everything. And I, I think that like, I know we've talked about Black Panther a lot recently, uh-huh. uh, which I think I liked Black Panther a lot. Me but there too. are a couple scenes in Black Panther that are like, they're lit really weird. Like when they're out on that cliff, like in the daylight. Yeah. And it's like, this does not look like daylight. This looks, it you looks know what I mean? It looks manufactured. Yeah, yeah it does. And I think that's part of the problem is that they shoot a lot of that in studio. And they've right. got amazing you know, graphical technology that can make this stuff look real, but you can tell it's not. Mm. And if there was a bunch of that in the flash, yeah, there was a bunch of that. And I, I mean, the there was some, the good, CGI good, in uh, flash is not good. The special mm. effects, the, the running and the fast effects and stuff, those were good. But like there was one scene where you see, of course the flash from the justice league, the one that this movie's about Ezra Miller's Flash is in the universe where Ben Affleck is Batman. Okay. And at one point in the beginning of the movie, all the other superheroes are tied up with something. So Flash gets the call that he needs to go help <clears throat> somebody out of a crisis. Uh-huh. You know, a building's going to collapse or some shit. And it shows Batman on his motorcycle chasing after somebody on, and on the Bat cycle. And you could the the CGI of his face on the it was awful. <laughs> it was like one of the earliest scenes in the movie. I was like, uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so at that point, I I really had to blur my vision and put that aside. Uh-huh. And I will warn anyone else that wants to watch Flash, <laughs> just be prepared because a lot of the like CGI of people's faces is really terrible, and. So at one point he gets he goes into the like into the speed force, which is like where he goes to change dimensions and stuff. Right, and he can sure. see all the other dimensions, like and those effects are amazing. Cool. Everything you see in there, like someone's faces, it looks really they look phony, they look fake. But I'm I want to think that to a certain extent that was done on purpose. Maybe it was just for like that a in that happy coincidence. Even in that. I bet it was happy coincidence. Because I could see it working. So let's, they were like force. probably really close, and then the, the guys were like, we can't make it look any better. And they're like, all right, well, then make it look a little worse so that it seems almost <laughs> surreal. Or they're all just not- going to look like Zordon. Best we, <laughs> yeah. best we can do. Dude, Zordon <laughs> looks pretty good, though. For what yeah. it was, yeah. I mean, Zordon does look pretty good. And, but- well, and that actor only recorded five minutes of video. I didn't so know he, that. he only got paid a hundred bucks, but oh, he's God. in like every single. I remember I saw an interview with him. He didn't get the, royalties with all the SAG after stuff. Yeah, like oh, he just got paid man. for that, God. and they just use his image, and because it's so blurry, you know, they just kept using it. That's just that's you can't it. prove that that's <laughs> him. Wow. But anyway, if you could just sort of, you guys kind of have to put that aside and and enjoy the movie. The story is really cool, cool. especially. Especially if you're fond of the original Batman movies with Michael Keaton, uh, it, it's really neat the way they do it. So anyway, that was the Flash, um, and then the next thing I was going to mention was um, I'm playing bunches of games <laughs> right now, uh, and in addition to a couple of games that Dave and I talked about uh, that I won't mention on here, uh, I'm playing... I'll mention it in my segment. Oh, are you going to? <laughs> no. Please don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. We need to, Those Steam Deck we games. We need to leave. <laughs> this one wasn't Steam yeah, Deck. Yeah, this is off the grid. <laughs> yeah. We need to leave. It's just a flash drive everybody passes around. Could be. <laughs> Could be. We need <laughs> to leave that to the to the listener's imagination because yeah, I that's fine. will not tell anyone what it is, but... But I'll tell you for five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you. Uh, but I have been playing um, this neat little game that I heard about from you, Tyler, called Sea of Stars. Mm. I've started mm-hmm. playing Sea of Stars, which I think awesome. we're talking about possibly doing an episode or two. I would love to do on. an episode or two on, uh, and I am enjoying it a lot. And oh, I don't awesome. typically okay. like yeah. RPGs, but I'm. This one's 
hitting for me. So okay. um, well, I've, well, I've made definitely. it through a couple of chapters of that, and uh, I will start that sooner rather than later. Then so. yeah, and it and it runs really. So I don't have. I it's on Xbox Game Pass for right. free. If you're a subscriber of Game Pass, I think it's on <laughs> PS Plus as well. I'm not positive, okay. but well, what I've done is instead of playing it on, instead of buying it on Steam, uh, I use my Steam Deck to use to play Game Pass games, and this works flawlessly in that way. That's awesome. So I was able to do that, um, and and I've I, so uh, for those of you interested, I I think I think Sea of Stars is a good. I think we'll be doing that one. I'm down to do it next. Yeah. Next, I All think right. it'd be a good start time on to, it next. to start I don't know it. If yeah. I have time to. I think it's like I've heard it's like you'll a thirty-hour game. You'll get know. enough yeah. from the first, from a week's worth of playthrough mm -hmm. to to talk about it, and yeah, then yeah. I think it's maybe warrants a second episode even cool. so far. So uh, we'll do that. And then the other thing is um, I haven't been playing yet. Um, two two games I haven't been playing yet, but I'm very excited to be playing. Starting tomorrow, Starfield comes out, so I've got that preloaded on my Xbox, ready to go. Is that um, it's the new Bethesda? Right, right. Thing. I think it's is that for people who bought the game? Because I think there's like I think it's releases September sixth. Uh, it's an Xbox Game Pass exclusive, and I want to say that it's supposed to be available tomorrow. It may not be. It may be the sixth. But with everything I read, I was under the impression that it was ready for tomorrow. But I'll, I'll double check. I, think I, I don't want to give bad information. And by the time people listen to this, it'll be it's, past, it's anyway. past that date anyway. So but I think matter. it's one of those where it's like Diablo was, where it's like if you pay extra, you can play the game. I think like five days early. I just I know that this is like the first Bethesda release new thing since Fallout seventy six. You are you are both correct. It has two release dates. So Game Pass is tomorrow, or the first, right? So I, think, I guess it's September, because it says two release dates, October, August 31st and September 6th. Oh, so I could be playing Starfield right now, probably. It's, I don't know. It looks like early access at certain times tomorrow. Okay. I just know that it was a Microsoft exclusive thing yeah, because it's they Bethesda, Bethesda and they own it. Right. Um, so anyway, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's really hot. I've heard on my, really good things about I it. I have too, and I hope it's as open world and free to do whatever the hell you want, as as they say, because that's what I'm itching for. I yeah. want a ship, and I want to roam the galaxy and do fun things. I've heard that the ship stuff uh, feels very um, X-wing. Good in regards where it's like you uh, manage your shields. And oh yeah, I'm down. Like you, t you use your lasers to take down shields, and then once shields are down, you use ballistics to, to do hull damage and all that. So I mean, I can't wait. I'm excited. That sounds really great. It does sound really cool. Um, and then the other thing is, so at at my job, instead of giving out bonuses. We used to get like semi annual bonus or semi quarterly bonuses for performance numbers, and they did away with that. We don't get money for that anymore. But they do. But we, as we go throughout our course of our work day, work week, we can reward each other with like points. And I've gotten a lot of points. And so I used it to buy Xbox game cards, <laughs> and I pre-purchased Mortal Kombat One. Nice. I was I, my guess was Mortal Kombat One when you said you had games you're looking forward to. So later this month that will be dropping. Yeah, uh, and hopefully keeping me pretty busy. So I have, just, and then in addition to those other games I told you about. Well, I mean, I don't mind talking about the first one. I'm I'm playing through Honey Pop again because I really like Honey Pop, and I'm playing through Double Date, Honey Pop Two, and. Uh, than another game but those the games are all keeping me very uh, gaming more right now than i have in a very long time uh, and i'm really really digging it so i can't wait to talk about sea of stars and i can't wait to inevitably hopefully get to talk about starfield uh and and start weighing in on that one because those are and mortal Kombat because those are big games big big releases for me so anyway that's it that's my that's my intro Day, how about you? Baldur's Gate. You were playing Baldur's Gate when I got here. I was playing Baldur's Gate when you got here. I am 36 hours in. I'm not out of Act 1 yet. Um, I 
feel like I'm probably going slower than a lot of people, but that's kind of, I guess, by design. Um, still playing as an assassin, and a lot of times what I like to do is leave the party, and then I'll scout, and it's kind of fun to just kind of like watch patrols and be like, okay, I can kill that guy. I can yeah. take that guy out without them knowing about it, go back into stealth, and then stalk this guy. When he's alone, kill him. Um, so I'm crawling through the game, but mm. I like, but I do like it that way. That's, I get it. I, so You're a little, playing it how you'd have to play an evil character in yeah. a good party in actual D and D. Yeah, or yeah, as totally. Uh, and I'm playing it as well, but I haven't played it as much because I've been tied up with all this other stuff. But I could see what I'm get, getting at is I could see how it would take a lot longer than the projected hours. You know, if you really wanted to soak it in, you could. Yeah, I'm also going out of my way to like, there's the maps in the game are really dense. And by that, I mean, it's like, they're not, they're large maps, but I mean, it's kind of like locations of interest are kind of close to one another. Like, it's hard to like <clears throat> go 200 feet in that game and not stumble across something where it's like, oh, okay, this is a whole, this is a whole thing. Like this, like oh, leads okay. into this and that. And so it's designed like kind of like it feels like it's a spider web almost where it's like it doesn't really matter where you go. You're going to find something that's interesting and it's going to lead to something else and that's going to lead to something else. And um, I think it's really designed super well. And that's, I guess, part of like my open world fatigue is kind of playing these games where I feel like there's these beautiful open worlds that you can explore and it's like there's not a lot either there's not a lot to do in them or you have to travel a while in order you find right. in order to find something or when you do find something it's like like we were talking about with Spider-Man where it's like one of eight predefined things where uh -huh. it's like oh okay the the bandits or they got the wagon <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean it's but it's not like that in Baldur's Gate 3 all of it feels like it's unique. Unique and experiences. Yeah. yeah and that that's is, really cool. That is rad because I feel like this many hours into it, if you know, if it were samey, I would have probably noped out at this point. Oh, but yeah, it, I'm going to put some time into it, especially just because I have it and I just. What I want to play, I've got too much to choose from. So. It's a it's a great game, and I and I love that it runs on the deck. I do wish it wasn't as taxing on the battery. It but can be, and yeah, yeah. It would yeah. cross save. It's great because you know I'm gonna try playing it oh, on Moonlight, and I'll let you know how that works. Okay, oh, on my deck, yeah, on, with Moonlight, yeah, and Sunshine, because if that works, sounds like you're talking about going out and hanging on an actual deck. In both the Moonlight and the Sunshine. <laughs> well, sunshine and Moonlight are... Are those Pokemon games? Yeah, they could be. I'm surprised they're not, actually. Uh, well, there is Sun and Moon. But <laughs> there's Sun and Moon, that's right, yes. Sunshine is a host that you can put on your gaming PC that will serve it out to whatever remote device you want. So it's kind of like um, Steam Link, except it's a little bit more robust and it works with more devices. Um and I think it runs better than Steam Link is from a graphical standpoint. And you can do a lot of tweaking and stuff to it, but I mainly use it to play games that are on my gaming PC in my office from inside the house. So I use it, I play games from my Mac a lot. I play games using my Steam. And the, the cool thing about it is, too, I can use my Steam Deck with Moonlight to connect back to my gaming PC and so therefore can play a game that would be very normally very taxing on the CPU and stuff on the Steam Deck would actually cut that down a lot because basically all it is is like an RDP kind of Steam Link sort of deal. So essentially all the processing is being done on the PC and all you're doing is interfacing with it remotely from your deck. I in on my home network I've had very low latency and I haven't had any problems but I haven't tried playing a game like Baldur's Gate yet mm. to see if it's going to work but I'm going to try that and see if that helps because that could be a thing for you Dave Yeah I got to sort some network shit out cuz I tried yeah. Steam Link with it and 
still no love. no go. I mean, yeah. it was not playable. Okay, it, it worked, but it was just like no, this is like. But that could be because of your network. It's almost <laughs> assuredly because of my network. I'm gonna give that a try, and I could play it. I mean, if you're gonna be playing it, like if you're sitting in your car, you know, waiting for your fucking food to come to you or something. Obviously, you would want to play it locally. You don't want to play it over a Wi-Fi or a cellular connection. Right, right. But if you're at a place with good internet, it should work that way, too. But I'll let you know what I find out. I'm really... I can't remember if I talked about this or not. I probably have. But I'm really impressed how well it works with a controller um, and versus like a mouse you keyboard. You did, and I agree. I was really concerned that it was not going to be a good experience, but it's... It's really nice the way they've got the menu wheels and all that set up for it. it is, is it's easy to understand yeah, and yeah. navigate. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It is. Um, I've also been watching an anime called uh, Heavenly Delusion, mm. uh, which is uh, really good. It's uh, weirdly, I guess, a Hulu exclusive. Okay, um, but it is. It's a new anime. Uh, I believe all the episodes are out for this season. Uh, but I'm not positive. It's this. It's set in 2024, uh, where a uh, apocalyptic event happened 10 years ago, and it's got it does have Chainsaw Man vibes in the fact that there are uh, like monsters that that roam the land. Uh, it also has. Have you ever seen uh, the Promised Neverland? I have not. Um, it's got Promised Neverland vibes because Promised Neverland's all about this kind of like um, dystopian world where there's this orphanage there and there I can't say anything else about okay. Promised Neverland or it starts giving a whole bunch of shit okay. away. Um, but it's got vibes of that because there's like in this in this w- ruined world there's this orphanage and in this orphanage are. Um, it's essentially these super kids. Um, oh, Thor has the eight. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> right. Or or Professor X's uh, School oh, yeah. for Gifted Mutants. <laughs> um, but so you've got this story of what's going on inside the <laughs> orphanage um, and these kids, and like there's a mystery there where it's like, well, why are they the lo- way that they're they are? And it's all very, it's all very weird because you. It's all very cryptic, and there are a bunch of like, um, there's a bunch of like AI there, and like these these robot guardians kind of deal, and all that. And you're like, they start to, they start to die, and you're like trying to like they're you're so you're like okay, so why are these why are they dying? What's going on? And then they're like, there's this whole story going on with this orphanage. Meanwhile, the other half of the anime is. Um, this uh, duo who, um, this boy and this girl, they are out in the, the ruins and they are searching for heaven. Um, the girl is a, um, man, that gets deep. It's, it's very intricate. The girl is, she was an electric car racer and um, she becomes a bodyguard after a, Traumatic event that I'm not going to say what it is. Okay. Uh, and she has been, she took on this job to, to guard this boy who um, has like a syringe and two like canisters. And he's been told that he needs to find somebody who has his face and inject them with the syringe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and you know this is not a spoiler because this is i mean this is like an episode 1 kind of thing you see the person with his face in the orphanage so it's like you can see where this is kind of going to go hmm. it's just a matter of how is it going to get there and when it gets there what's going to happen yeah. you know hmm. cuz Nikki and I are watching it together and it's like like we've got all these theories and stuff where it's like well what happens when he you know uses a syringe on the person who has his face tell me again what is it called again heavenly delusion and it's on it's on hulu, hulu. they're subbed and dubbed it might be under uh tengoku daimakyo and uh um, oh yeah there it is so it's got it has 
in that regard, it's got Chainsaw Man vibes, Promise Neverland vibes, and also I think the animation or the the character design style reminds me a lot of uh, Akira. Uh, uh, there's also a lot of My Hero Academia character design in here. Is there the two pic the two pictured here on the uh, card for the show look like almost exactly like two of the character main characters from My Hero? Yeah. So yeah, I've got it on my my list. I'm gonna watch it. It's cool. I think I think you'll like it. It's um, it's a very, it's very human. Okay. It's it's one of those where it's 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 very human and it's very detail oriented too. It's one of those where it's like you can if you're looking for things you can spot them. Um, so if you're like actively watching it, you can kind of piece things together by little things that are like hidden in the oh, scenes. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah. So it's cool. I'm in. We're about halfway through it, so um, or at least halfway through what's up. All right. So that's it. That's it. Henry had strep. That sucked. Ugh, God, he got I over it in two days. Okay. So, Good. you know. I got strep a lot when I was a kid, and I, I feel his pain. He's had it twice this year. Yeah. Um, so, but I mean, he, I mean, on Monday morning, he woke up, had 103 fever, Ugh. and it's like, fuck, man. Strep is bad. Strep can kill you. I mean, it's it's rough. Rough. We were worried it was COVID, you know. Sure. Um, but he tested negative on a home test, and That's then good. when he went to the doctor, you know, he tested negative again and popped for strep. So, but he's yeah. By Wednesday, I stayed home. Nikki stayed home with him on Monday. I stayed home with him on Tuesday, and even by like Tuesday afternoon, like ready to rock, huh? Yeah, man. His his temperature was down to like ninety eight point nine, and it's like okay, you're gonna be like set. Kids are so funny when they're sick. They're fucking sick. Yeah, dude. But when they get better, it's immediate. Yeah. Like, I got shit to do now. I got to get caught up. I was, I've been on, oh, yeah, on my ass for two days. Dude, it was like <clears throat> straight up maybe 11 o'clock, and he was like, do you want to play Minecraft? <laughs> and it was like with that kind of like yeah. <laughs> that yeah. energy. And it's like, okay, yeah, we can play Minecraft. And he was like going to all like the things that we should do. And it's like, all right, let's do it. And then we played Minecraft for like three hours. Nice. <laughs> And, oh, that's uh, awesome. And then, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. We got as far as we ever have because hey. he kind of gets distracted and wants to do things. Yeah. But, um, got our golden boots and got has a pig lens and all that. There you go. And then it was kind of like, let's eat. And then we never got there. <laughs> well, cool. So, yeah, that was a nice, you know, not a good, not a comforting reason to be off work, but it was a nice, it was a, it ended yeah. up being a nice day. Good. Tyler, the dehumidifier is working. Oh, yeah. I saw it's yeah. already. This room is so much drier. Yeah. It is so nice in <laughs> yeah. here. I think yeah, it will, yeah, yeah. I think it it will solve our mildew good. problem. It smells good. <laughs> There's no mildew in the air. Yeah. I mean, even, I, I don't know, I, I saw, I, I plugged it up about 4 o'clock. So I, I oh. already saw water accumulating yeah. in it. <laughs> it's, so. it's, it's, it's making a difference. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. It really is. So I've had a good price for one that'll do 700 <laughs> square feet. So Patreon.com slash that pod. <laughs> Plenty of color, a, bright colors, too. Got a pair of dehumidifier bills. <laughs> Changes <laughs> colors. It's purple now. It was blue. It is cool. It's like a gamer. It's like a uh, gamer dehumidifier. I've been, it is. It is. <laughs> I've been staring at it this whole time. Tyler, what do you got going on? Uh, teaching. That's going well. Is it? Good. It's It's, it's surreal. To hear, oh, Chef Holland. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> what do you? <laughs> what can I tell you to do about this? So, because um, I teach that, you know, baking one essentially. You know, Mondays and Wednesday nights, which is baking which one is what? fun. Baking, baking, baking one everything. One <laughs> cookie. Just one. <laughs> Throw away the rest it's of be the really dough. Really good though. One <laughs> perfect cookie. Oh, well, we've done. We did pancakes. And then they did um, a, a whatever ver, uh, varietal of scone they wanted to do the other day. So okay. scones and biscuits. And they all did well, and like, no, I I definitely enjoy it. Um, scones it's a good and little biscuits. side gig. <laughs> Sounds like a British platformer that we're gonna play eventually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably made by the you same can... company that made Frantic Flea. Yeah, scones and biscuits is on Game Pass. So I'm probably gonna play. <laughs> <laughs> So that's that's been fun, but it's also like there's only like it's a community college. So there's like one I've got one older student. Everybody else is like super young, 
but it's still like crazy when I their first quiz and I walked over the board. I was like, "All right, here's a two point bonus on your on your quiz." I mentioned it day one. Blank plus blank equals good eats. If you remember what that is, two points. No, heat one, plus sweet. Heat plus sweet I remember. equals good eats. Yeah, <laughs> yep, you're damn right. It's good for Malton Brown. You just got two points. I yes. told I told that day one. I was like, S- "Send it onto your brains." That's always a good combination to remember. Of course, like I think one person got it right, and they didn't get it exactly right. I just went ahead and countered it anyway. They said spicy plus sweet. I was like, well, okay, close yeah, enough. That's right. it's, just, <laughs> it's got, got to just, rhyme. But they like only one of them even knew who Alton Brown was. I told them spicy plus rice. Here's your homework. <laughs> spicy plus rice. I mean, that also equals good eats. <laughs> <laughs> so I told them like whenever I was in culinary school, there's a book I listen to, and I recommend you listen to it. But if you want to read it, read it. Read it, write me a two-page paper about how it made you feel, and I'll give you a five-point coupon you can use on anything anything in the class. I'll go, okay, what is it? <laughs> Kitchen Confidential by Anthony Bourdain. And then I wrote it down. I was like, anybody seen anything with Anthony Bourdain? And they all just looked at me. It's like, do you know who Anthony Bourdain is? Oh, my God. <laughs> you are all very young. This is crazy. <laughs> But no, it's it's definitely a fun experience. So cool. enjoying that. But you guys want to do want you to do a draft? Yes, I'd love to do a draft. All right, let's look over the old list here. Unless anybody has any ideas to throw off. Nothing springing to mind, but it might if you read the list again. Mario games, presidents, X Men. I <laughs> mean, I don't know. I better not do. We X-Men. did through a lot with yeah, Marvel. We covered a so. lot of X Men. Dinners, chicken dishes, breakfast foods, stand-ups, donuts, movie stars, serial killers, horror icons, handheld games, holidays, movies, Chinese food, potato dishes, Pokemon, cheese, robot masters, anime protagonists, anime side characters, milkshakes, books, historical figures, fighting game characters, fighting games, uh, franchises, and trios. I could do... I think franchises and trios were Phil's ideas. Chicken dishes, horror icons, or... Countries that begin with the letter T. Um, Trinidad and Tobago is so get two of them. <laughs> now I can't remember what the third one is that I oh books. <laughs> yeah, those are fine with me, but I could I'll play along with anything. I'm good. I'm good with any of those three. Between we, chicken dishes, horror icons, horror icons or books. Books. You want to do? We could break books down into. Fiction books, fantasy books. I would say fiction because mine aren't going to... I don't have a whole lot of fantasy books under my belt, but there would be some in my list. Yeah. Um, So I'd say just like fiction. Any fiction book? Yeah. So they gave me chicken. Chicken dishes, I think, is pretty big appeal. Everybody's had chicken or, or I like fiction books. I'm good with the, any three. You guys pick. Roll the dice between chicken dishes and books. Okay. Odd chicken dishes, even fiction books. Chicken. 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 Winner, winner, chicken, chicken dinner. 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 That's the name of this draft. <clears throat> All right. So, one and, oh, let's see here. I'll. I'll be one and two since I just rolled a one. Me, one and two. Ian, three and four. Dave, five and six. Okay. Five. Dave. I will go with a spicy chicken sandwich. If I need to be more specific, I suppose that I can. That's a chicken dish. It is a chicken dish. Nikki made them today. Uh, for dinner, we're talking a homemade spicy chicken sandwich. Well, that's why that's why I'm saying. Do, do I well, need to specify? I think I think if you were like, I mean, you could be generic about it and say, if I go out to eat, I pretty much always get the spicy chicken sandwich. 
But in this context, I think what you're saying is the homemade kind of thing. The stuff that you could... But it doesn't have to be homemade. I'm trying to be... <clears throat> I mean, it's straight up like a windy spicy chicken sandwich. A Chick Fil A spicy You're chicken covering sandwich, chick, spicy chicken. That's the I'd spicy say it can chicken be just gauntlet. Cover everything. That's whatever. That's what I'm asking. It's not a fast food draft. I don't it's wanna, not a okay. Right. Okay. okay. Spicy chicken yeah. sandwich. Boom. I love it. Perfect. I prefer them clean. Now, neat. when Nikki makes them at home, yeah. How does this happen? What is the process? How does she do it? Um, they're grilled and it's cumin and. Uh, Another spice mm. I can't remember the name of right now. Cayenne. It is cayenne. Yeah, yeah. It's cumin and cayenne. And uh, slice of tomato, thick slice of tomato. Mm. Uh, some lettuce. We don't normally do iceberg lettuce a lot, but for this we do. Fuck, fuck some iceberg lettuce. Yeah, I, I hate iceberg I, lettuce. I know you do. But, <laughs> but I like it, it okay. it's nice and crunchy because this, this is a grilled chicken. So it's, it's nice to have some crunch to it. I like to have like spinach and stuff. Yeah, spinach and romaine. I but like it's not, like it's, it doesn't provide that, it doesn't provide that crispness that iceberg mm. does. I, at least the spinach that I eat. Because um, I put a lot of baby spinach on like a turkey sandwich. Mm. Um, but yeah, and then they're just on, um, they're just on hamburger buns. They're, okay. So it's pretty straightforward. Sounds good. It is good. Yeah, yeah. Now, does she grill the chicken, or do you buy, like, pre-grilled? Oh, it's grill, yeah, grilled chicken or fried chicken. Grilled. If it was fried, I wouldn't want the lettuce on it, because mm. I don't... Then oh, you, okay. Then you, don't then you got the crunch. the crunch already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They grilled. It was good. It was, I mean, yeah. It was our first attempt, uh, her first attempt. Um, and it's been fun, because, like, last night she did, like, a... a Mexican shrimp burrito bowl. Oh man, that mm. sounds delicious. Fuck man, that was like. This, that, I'm getting the impression that Nikki has a, has a knack for cooking. She likes to cook. Yeah, that's she likes good, to cook. That's good. Yeah, she likes to cook, and um, she's been really. She's been like, she thanked me today. She's like, "Thanks for finding these recipes." And it's like, you cook. Fucking it. hell, yeah. You. Cook, this <laughs> is like this is the easy part, and I don't even look for a lot of them. I'll just like an email will come through, you know. Let's from try my, this. My fitness pal, and it's like, oh, oh okay, yeah. let's, let's look and see if any of these look good to me. Yep, that that that. Mm -hmm. And then I send her the recipes, and I'm like, do any of these look good to you? She's like, yeah, all of them. It's like, sweet. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really awesome. My turn. Yeah. Uh, my favorite chicken dish. So I've mentioned before, my mom was a big cook. She liked to cook a lot, mm -hmm. and she had all these cookbooks and stuff. And so I grew up eating really well because she was a good cook. In mm -hmm. addition to liking it, she was really good at it. And one of the things that I'm very blessed to have is a wife who also very much likes to cook, like you said, like with Nikki. Yeah. And the thing is that Tanya actually made an effort. Uh, when we first got together, she and my mom – got to be real close and real big buds oh. and Tanya made the effort to like learn how to cook that's like my awesome. mom that's yeah. yeah that's nice and so honest to god I and mean, it's been fucking decades since I've had my mother's cooking mm -hmm. I mean she died in 2005 so it as far as I know the things that Tanya cooks are the are indistinguishable from the way mom made them so it's a real <laughs> big deal to me. And yeah, that's I what's love... cool about recipes, too. Yes. I know that's like a big deal, recipes passed down. Nikki's got some of her grandmothers, right. you know, when she died. And Tanya's stuff. got a bunch of her grandmothers, like for her stuffing at Thanksgiving. Yeah. And things that are like family traditions in her family that I'm now getting to enjoy because she's cooking them, and, you know, it's really neat. And a lot of my mom's recipes are handwritten. Yeah, yeah. You know, like she would tweak stuff, and she, we've got all our old cookbooks with her hand handwriting and her notes like uh -huh. like Harry Potter style you know uh -huh. when he found the the book of the uh, what's the when they were mixing potions and oh, he yeah, found, he Snape's found Snape's, Snape's book, book. Yeah. with all the notes and stuff that's what Tanya's cookbooks look like it's got all my mom's not this this kind of thing uh -huh. you know anyway but one of the best things she ever made for me it was a simple recipe lemon butter chicken Lemon yeah. chicken's fucking great. Lemon man. chicken's is great. Very simple, just baked chicken breast mm -hmm. with a lemon butter sauce. And I like for her to go heavier on the lemon because mm -hmm. I like the sour. 
uh, drizzle, and then so we a bed of white rice, piece of chicken on top of it. It's all cooked in, and then you take fresh white rice, put that chicken on it, and then drizzle that honey or that lemon butter sauce all over it. Mm, I could eat that. I have eaten that until I was sick. <laughs> Several times in my life because it's so fucking. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things. Get at Chong's too. Yeah, they have little yeah. chicken. Yeah. I haven't had theirs, mm-hmm. man. That well, it used to be good. I haven't had it in twenty years, but it was when I worked there. That was a main rotation item. I can. I don't know if we've talked about this before. Probably only three of us at this table will appreciate this conversation. So I'm sorry, listener, but <laughs> <laughs> we're not fucking sorry. <laughs> Chong's on Jackson Street not being there it's is weird. It is a fucking void, mm. dude. We like, eat at just hamburgers a lot, and it's just down from where the right, Chong's right. used to be. It's hard for me to say the words where Chong's used to be because they've literally torn the fucking uh, building. Yeah. It's, and now it's it going to be a pocket gas station right? oh, or something oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, something probably. Like but it's station, like, yeah, yeah Oof, you're not wrong. And I, it's been gone. Washing's coming soon, man. <laughs> it is. I've we'll we'll <laughs> got my minute. fingers crossed that washing will be really any minute now. You know, someone's like, now's our time. <laughs> now we strike. God, they could. They I could know. If they could fix that place up. And and maybe get all the rats and stuff the out of it. Run off. Oh yeah. yeah, that is for everybody. We'll clue you in. Washing is a restaurant <laughs> direct located across the street from Chong's, another Chinese restaurant from the closed lot down where forever Chong's ago. Used to be. And it has had for the last twenty plus years coming soon on their on their market. That's an old <laughs> enough joke to where my my thirty year old son took a picture of that sign <laughs> last year and posted it on like Facebook or something. Uh-huh. And everybody got a laugh out of it because it's a very long standing joke. Yeah, well, that. when the 10 year challenge was going around on <laughs> Facebook, that was the show 10 year challenge. It was yes. <laughs> and that's, and that what's funny about that is I, I'm going to take a picture of it. I will take a picture of it tonight on my way home and post it in the discord. Now Next I know week. they used to be open, and like yeah. obviously they used to be open, but like kind of, sort of recently ish. Because it, I know a former band member of yours who ate there with my former creative director. Oh yeah, okay. And I don't know when this. This was like I don't know, probably more than fifteen years. Talking ago. about Mr. Brown. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I think they did open up briefly. But then they shut it down because there were people living, literally living in the restaurant at night. Oh, yeah. I mean, they saw a, they saw a rat in there when they were, yeah, when they were eating yeah. there. Like they, they like they saw it. Maybe <laughs> maybe I'm gonna need to do a walkthrough if they ever do reopen, just to be on the safe side. But uh, washing, maybe. Yeah, but I, what I was getting at was I go to just hamburgers a lot. Yeah, yeah. We live really close to there. You're right. Yeah. And it still gets me. Oh, I hate Every I hate time I go to McDonald's there, or or just hamburgers, which is right there as well. McDonald's is right across from it. It's I. It takes me aback yeah. every time. I'm like, God, Chugs is gone. I, it it feels like it should not be. <laughs> like there should have been like a ski I, off or something. We could like St. <laughs> Chong's. <Yeah. laughs> I re- they closed during the pandemic. They closed after because they only kept one location open for takeout during the, or at least in town during the pandemic. And they never reopened the Jackson Street one. And I was like, we were disappointed. Well, getting the buffet to go was always a was shit, a show, shit anyway. show anyway. Really like, you was. don't, you, you don't just no. say They would, the they would, would be like, like all, follow walk around and put like one, right. one thing <laughs> for you in it. Yeah. Yes. Which one you want? <laughs> and that's how they would sound. I'm not being racist. Which one you want? You only get one. Well, only one scoop. Extra. I hated Two it. scoop I, extra. Soup Nazis. Oh, yes. I hated being sent there. Because I, when I was 15, 16, I worked at the one in Reland. I hated it when Jackson Street was shorthanded and they'd send one of us over there. Mm. Fucking hated working yeah. there. The, I can that, see that why. At the Jackson Street buffet, it was fucking awful. What was bad about it? The cooks were all super mean. Yes, I've Ruby, heard the, the owner who was... Awful. Ruby was always there. My like, dad was buddies with Ruby because oh she bought all her pearls from him. I loved her husband. Yeah, he was. He cool was dude. fantastic. He was a but cool dude. When he died and she took over, whew, whew, she is a 
She is not a nice, she is kind mean. person. She is mean. She knew, is just on, clearly she knew her business. She's but mean, this is a comedy mean podcast. Mean just, for, <laughs> just throw that out there. Through I don't know how through. litigious Ruby is. <laughs> through and through. This is a comedy podcast. <laughs> she she knows she's mean. She prides herself on it. But and I mean in certain certain settings she's not. But at work at Chong, mm. she was a hard driving woman. She More than was, I mean, I can appreciate someone running a tight ship, but she did not have to. Be. She As someone not. who has worked at many restaurants, I knew a lot of people that worked for many years. Yeah. She did not have to be the kind of person she was to be but, effective. But as I was driving, you know, the, during the pandemic, we were going by. and we We're like, "What if Chong's ever going to open back up?" You know, because we were getting takeout a lot from the one at the, out by the mall. Yeah, and I, I remember driving past Chong's as they were beginning to tear it down, <laughs> and I, I literally called Tanya. I was like, "Honey." Um, I don't know how Get to tell shotgun. you this. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're tearing down Chong. She's like, which one? I mean, the that, one on Jackson? Uh, no, the real one. They're not. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching it. There's a oh, there went the wall. I mean, it was like they were in the process of tearing it apart, and I was like, no. It's for Paducah to have four locations for chongs always busy four yeah. always busy <laughs> locations they were good yeah that is true yeah the, and at 1.5 right because there was one on the south oh, side oh there yeah. was one on the south side it was un unaff- they sold it off for early on so yeah, it was somewhat unaffiliated it was strange yeah it was but weird. you're right i forgot about that one five really that's nuts now they're down to i think two yeah the one at the mall and the one in reedland and Lone well, they, they had to take out Lone Oak, yeah. But I think yeah. they're trying to get rid of the mall one. I heard that as well. Really? They're, I think they've been trying to find a buyer for years, but no, one, no one's, no one's buying nah, As long as I can <laughs> get to one of them, I don't care. Uh, we were doing a draft. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> whose turn was it, Tyler? So mine, so the last time I had this this dish, I uh, went to go see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with some friends. Uh, there were like 12 of us. Went to an Indian restaurant afterward. And 11 of us white people ordered this dish. I ordered, I was the only one who got a slight deviation. I got the cheese version, but chicken tikka masala. Oh, chicken. That's a good one. That's a good one. I do like that. So it was, it was almost comical just watching everyone. What would you like? Chicken tikka masala, mild. Chicken tikka masala, mild. Chicken tikka masala, mild. <laughs> All the way around until it got to me, and I was like, paneer tikka masala, <laughs> hot. Ooh, <laughs> everybody says. <laughs> Dave. Uh, I got to go with the egg white chicken grill from Chick-fil-A. Not a big fan of the politics, but I love that fucking sandwich, man. That sandwich is uh, sandwich is real good. I eat at Chick-fil-A real for the good. same reason I watched The Flash. I just put the politics aside <laughs> and try to enjoy it. Yeah. Chick Fil A makes good food. I, I am like completely it. unfamiliar with this sandwich, dude. Man, anytime I have a day off, I go there. It's a breakfast sandwich, mm-hmm. so it's. I wish. I wish they offer it uh, all day. One day I was late, you know, getting there. I was fuck. Ah, ah. I place the order on the phone. It's like I'm racing there because it says the phone's like, if you don't get here by 11:30. You ain't getting this. <laughs> and so it's like We're going to eat it. Yeah, all right. I get in the drive through line at like 11.25, and oh. I'm like, I got to get to the person. So yeah. I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> and then by the time I get to the person, it's 11.35. I'm like, look, they're like, what's the name on the order? It's like I tell them, and, they're like, and I'm like, is there any way I can still get it? And she's like, let me go talk to them inside. And it's like, fuck, man, this is like a, I'm five minutes you know, five minutes mm-hmm. late. This is a gotta go talk to him inside kind of deal. And she came back out and she's like, We can do it, but it's gonna be. This was so confusing to me. She said, We could do it, but it's gonna be the lunch grilled chicken. And I kind of was like, Is there gonna be egg on it? Because <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck. Uh, yes, the lunch egg. <laughs> What's the difference? The lunch it's egg. not the breakfast egg. <laughs> the lunch egg versus That's the world. That's the difference. <laughs> God damn it, that would have been good. <laughs> so I was like, uh, yeah, that's fine. Because I'm thinking, I'm just going to get a big fucking lunch piece of chicken on this thing. Uh, and what it was is apparently, I guess, on their grilled chicken sandwiches that they serve for lunch and dinner, 
it's in this like it has this like I don't know what you call it. Some kind of sauce on it. It's not like a it's like a like a watery sauce. You know, mm. it's like it's just like it's like, like a glaze or a marinade. Yeah, it's not like a glaze, but like a marinade is kind of yeah, yeah, I guess more like that. Um and I don't like the flavor of that at all. It doesn't have uh, it on the bre- on that breakfast sandwich yeah. though. It's just it's fucking man, it's like a um um English muffin, egg white. You know how like mm. McDonald's used to do the uh egg white McMuffin? Yeah. yeah. It's like that, but it's got a grilled chicken breast on it or piece. Okay. Okay. Very good. Cheese. Very good. Cheese or no cheese? Yes, cheese. Cheese, okay. Yes. And it's um it's good. Okay. It's, it's good. I recommend the Spectacle Host says check it out. It's <laughs> okay. a good fucking all right. sandwich. All right. Wish they had it all day. Yeah, number two. General So's chicken. Hell yeah, dude. Yes. God, I love it. I love to pair chicken dishes with white rice. That is yeah. like American, Chinese, anything chicken. I got to have some rice to be happy. I love the rice. But General So's. On the white rice. What I like oh. to do is I'll call up the restaurant and I'll be like, look, I want the general. So I want pressed chicken, white rice, mm-hmm. and a side of general so sauce. And I use oh. that sauce to okay. sew up my chicken, my pressed chicken, so I get chick so I get white chicken. The breast chicken breast. Mm. Because pressed chicken is the chicken breast. I just like the sauce. But I don't care for kind of sometimes how stringy the chicken can be in the actual General Tso's chicken. I will eat it, but I will not always be happy about it. Yeah. But I will do that because I love General Tso's chicken. That's yeah, very, General Tso's a very, is good. very good one. Because for now, my number two, I will pick a a standard that I'll eat anytime, especially when I'm trying to lose weight. But anytime, my whole family will eat it. It's the lost leader of Costco and Sam's Club, which is the rotisserie chicken. Oh, yeah. Love a $5 rotisserie chicken. Yeah, man. That's like, um, so my, my dad's at a lot of job sites and uh, in commercial construction, uh, um, sorry, industrial construction, and I got my zones mixed up. And um, he works with a bunch of men, and they... I don't know how they keep rotisserie chicken <laughs> in the fucking stores because it's like shift is over and then they all go and buy rotisserie <laughs> chickens. <laughs> yeah, dude, you eat a whole rotisserie chicken for five bucks. It's fucking good. That is a good deal. That was my staple whenever I was like losing weight on keto back in the day. Like a bag of steamed broccoli, a rotisserie chicken, and then like one of those things of cocoa dusted almonds. That's just that was my main mm-hmm. meal. Almonds are good because yeah. mm-hmm. I get my sweet fix for very little, you know, actual sugar. Yeah. Have we done nuts? I don't think we've done nuts. We should add that to we the should go nuts. Yes. Go nuts. We got donuts. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Roseanne Barr. She's nuts. Um, I'm gonna go with. I mean, there are a lot of Chinese dishes have been thrown around. Mm-hmm. I got to go with Kung Pao. Kung, Kung Pao, Pao, also good. Kung Pao chicken. Legend of the Fist. Yes. I like the George Costanza Kung Pao. Um, sometimes, Kung Pao is one of those where it's like, sometimes it's really good. When it's really good, it's really good. But I've also had it at some places where it's like, I don't think this is supposed to be a soup. <laughs> <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? But, yeah, when it's good, it's good. Ian, number three. My number three is another old favorite of my mom's, Chicken Kiev, or as my father liked to call it, communist chicken. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You pound out a chicken breast, roll it around some butter with some garlic and a little spinach or something you want to, and then uh, roll that in egg coated in breadcrumbs or cornflakes. It's a breakfast (laughs) egg. It's a breakfast egg. Uh, corn flakes and bake that bad boy. It's real good. Throw a little cheese in there if you want, but it doesn't work as well with cheese as it does just with the savories, the butters and the garlics and all that good stuff. So chicken Kiev, number three for me. Good deal. Uh, A staple that I love, my kids will eat it any place we go. They don't really love Chinese food, but they will always order this. That is orange chicken. 
Orange chicken's Orange good. Orange chicken from Panda Express is one of my favorite things. I oh, it it's so Panda good. Oh, it is very good. Panda it Express. is so good. We need a Panda Express, people. I always get a pick two, and I'll get the orange chicken and whatever like spicy shrimp they have on the menu. I'll, I will get, well, for my pick two, I usually get the oh, orange chicken and lo mein and then white rice. Mm. God, I love lo mein. I love lo mein and beer. Well, you just, it's beer. the most carbs you can get in a meal, I think, is lo mein with beer. Yeah. Oh, it's, but it's oh, but it makes you happy. God damn. That's why it's so good because it makes you happy. Mm-hmm. Makes you sleepy. Yep. Yeah. Sure do. Fuck Xanax. Have some lo mein and beer. <laughs> we and should do a pharmaceutical like a baby. commercial for lo mein. We should. And beer. <laughs> Side effects may include intense pleasure. Sleepiness, <laughs> bloat, <laughs> yep. intoxication, bad breath. We on fourth? Four. four. Number four. We go with chicken vaginas. Chicken vaginas. Do, do you like oh, a yeah. nice hot chicken vagina? God, I love a chicken vagina. Mm-hmm. Um. Sometimes eat it with a, without the tortilla. Sometimes just like to eat it off that skillet. Mm-hmm. That's nice too. Mm. Yeah, number four. Chicken strips, particularly from just, just hamburgers. hamburgers. Yeah, <laughs> that death breath sauce, man. I don't dig on the death oh, breath. I love, oh, I love it. It's good. It just it doesn't like me. Yeah, but it is tasty. I'm a honey mustard man myself. Uh, I do like especially the honey mustard from just Bergs. I know how they make it. I'm surprised it tastes as good as it does, considering how they make it. Um, sometimes they put too much yellow in there, and you can really tell. And I've complained. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, last time I was in here, y'all overdid it on the yellow and the, the honey mustard. You got that straightened out today, and they're like, "Yeah, dude." <laughs> Guy at just hamburgers complimented my T-shirt tonight. Yeah, I went in, and he was like, "Mr. Chandler." Because you know my name's on the order, made me feel special because he used my name. <laughs> I was like, uh, "Yeah, what's up? Love the shirt. Thanks. <laughs> my shirt has uh, Attack on Titan <laughs> stuff on it." Uh, number four, family favorite, something my mom used to make that I love: chicken, just the letter N. Dumplings, ah, chicken, chicken dumplings, chicken dumplings. dumplings. Mm. God, I love dumplings. They're so like bad for you. I love them. Yeah, dumplings are great. Day final number five. Man, it's tough. There's still a lot of chicken dishes to uh-huh. choose from. Um, I like chicken alfredo. Uh, I think chicken Alfredo. I haven't done anything. Oh, chicken Alfredo, so good. Yeah, I haven't done anything, any pasta or anything like that yet. So, yeah, chicken Alfredo. I I could eat chicken Alfredo for just about any dinner. Like if that were an if that were available, or if someone said we're having chicken Alfredo tonight, I'm in. I yeah. I love it. Man, Nikki makes a uh, spicy chicken Alfredo for me. Like the chicken separate. You know, yeah. she prepare the my chicken. And then hers and Henry's. And man, God damn, I love that spicy, yeah. creamy mix. I mean, that is nice, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah, because it's like glue. It sticks to your tongue and retains the spice. Yeah, number five. My fi- again, A lot of choices. You're not wrong. My final choice is um, another homemade favorite. This is just a simple chicken and rice casserole. This is a thick, it's good in the winter and the fall. It's a real stick to your ribs. It's just shredded baked chicken mixed with rice, vegetables, and a few other things, and a creamy sauce, like a cream of mushroom or mm-hmm. cre- and cream of celery type of thing, uh, baked with a nice um, layer of like a crust on the top. Just a, not like added, not like a crust is added. It's just baked, almost broiled at the end, so the top gets a little crunchy. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's one of my favorites. That sounds good. It's real good. I will round it out with original recipe fried chicken. Mm, yeah, so man, good. None of us did fried chicken until now. That's wild. That is crazy. Shoot. I would su- I would have substituted fried chicken for chicken strips if I'd have thought of it. Oh yeah, 
That's true. You did say chicken strips. But I'm, no, I'm. He's talking. You're talking about right, right. You're talking about like like chicken KFC, legs. Yeah, like KFC, yeah, chicken, yeah. Like bone. chicken, yeah, right, yeah, 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 totally yeah. different. And it is totally different. Not a different animal. So but a different way right? of preparing the animal. <laughs> That's totally different. So <laughs> honorable mentions. This is like exactly the same animal. <laughs> do you, do we do you want to make this a tin list? <laughs> 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 Time, yeah, I know. We're, we running, got, we're, we're running, running long. So I don't mention. Uh, I mean, we can do Friday Flea next week and just make this the chicken. <laughs> no, the chicken episode. No, no. Let's get Friday Flea get over Frantic with. Fleet done. I mean, <laughs> covered. Yeah. None of us said uh, chicken wings. Like, oh God, <laughs> that's funny. I know. That's like it's fucking what chicken pot pie. The casserole. Chicken pot pie. Casserole I thought about. Like it came close. Yeah, but but chicken pot pie. Uh, chicken noodle soup. I don't like chicken noodle I soup. I, I like, I like chicken noodle soup. Um, there's some, there has to be some other big huge ones. I mean, I thought about bourbon chicken, pressed chicken, pressed chicken, chicken pad thai. I did mean mention yeah. pressed chicken as part of my general sows. Sweet and sour chicken. Sweet and sour chicken. Chicken and waffles. Ooh. Chicken. Oh, chicken and waffles. Yeah, chicken, waffles. <laughs> chicken waffles is a good one. Nashville hot chicken. Nashville is that hot chicken. Like I would yeah. say so. Yeah. 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 Fuck. We yeah, could have yeah, done yeah. ten. We could have done we ten. Could have easily I know, done time, ten. But we easily done, done ten. We could have done it. Yeah. Good draft. Great draft. Got a lot Big of fan. good good talking on that one. <laughs> Big fan. I'm gonna I'm gonna send us out uh, for a little break, and then we're gonna Kay. come back. And talk about the horror, uh, the wonderful, <laughs> uh huh, frantic flea the for the Super Nintendo <laughs> Entertainment System. Stay tuned after these words from. We'll leave it to you to figure that out. <laughs> this is enough to get me to the boiling point. And now the game talk. The game talk. Chicken nuggets. Ch- popcorn chicken. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> chicken cacciatore. Chicken quesadilla. Oh, I I did think of chicken quesadilla, but it didn't make my list because I like that. It's not one of better. mine, but like it's Mel- a thing. Melissa, that's her go-to to every Mexican. Chicken that's fries. Her chicken fries. Shit, chicken fries. Yeah. Did you guys ever go to um, Ponderosa very much? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was their Monterey chicken was Melissa's oh, favorite. I forgot that existed. <laughs> yeah. is, that, is, that, is that... There's Dijon chicken, Parmesan oh. chicken. Oh, my chicken God. Parm. 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 Chicken Parm. Chicken Parm, yeah. Well, I'm thinking of... The chicken Parmesan chicken I'm thinking of is, again, a homemade thing, but it was it's a breading that is, is cornflakes and... Parmesan cheese and spice and stuff. Roll the chicken and the egg, bake it. Mm-hmm. That's chicken Parmesan chicken, but chicken parm is the, the British chicken the mozzarella, mozzarella sauce. Mozzarella sauce and the cheese. So there's two different dishes right there that big ones that should have been mentioned. Yep. Right, but my asshole is dilated and so ready to fucking shit. <laughs> oh, the shit on this fucking game. <laughs> yeah, frantic flea. flea. Frantic <laughs> flea. Let's just get right into it, fellas. So the box art. Before we played this game, you saw the box art. What would you think? It's so frantic. I would think that I, it would be a game I would not want to play. Yeah. <laughs> because I mean, I'm saying, the game is worse than the box art, but like not by much. But not by much. I think the box art it kind of makes it look like it's a kid's game. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and that's one thing if I feel like it was a kid's game. But, yeah, it, it kind of looked like it, it. They're going for this, like, Looney Tunes kind of. Yeah, they're really like a Rocco's everything. Modern Life sort of. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's crazy. It's frantic. There's yeah. all kinds of shit going on. I would have yeah. thought Fun Platformer, something like that. Yeah, I would have gotten it. And too. I think, you Not know. Not to have one of the worst elements that I hate in video game gaming. Most people do. In on it. Yeah. The quality of the art was good enough to make me think, oh, well, they put a little effort, a little love mm-hmm. into this. It looks pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there's the box art. Uh, a movie, if you were to, or a celebrity. Or a celebrity, yes. That you would compare your experience <laughs> with this game to. 
What would got, you say? I have a movie and a celebrity. Nice. My movie is Taken, starring Liam Neeson, <laughs> who's desperately trying to round up his daughter and against all odds fights all the bad guys to do it. Uh, it's easier to watch Taken than it is to play this game. He was just on Conan's podcast. <laughs> I started Conan's podcast. I'm going from the beginning, though. Holy God. Yeah. Okay. Just like I did with last podcast, I'm wow. going to work my way through. I just got through um, Will Ferrell and Kristen Bell, and I'm on... Um, fuck, I can't remember. Bill, Bill, no, nah, the science guy. No, Bill, the comedian. Bill Burr. Burr, Burr. Burr. is episode three. It's who I'm on. Mm. Anyway, uh, and the celebrity I picked for that. Well, my w- brain went Skarsgård before Burr. It's fucking or crazy. Hater. I figured, or you, hater, I figured yeah. you'd nail that, nail that first. I thought that was going to be the <laughs> shit. That's why I said it because I knew you guys n- know who he is. Bill Burr was in a, a um, Andor, the Star Wars really? show. Andor. That's wild. I didn't Still? know that. Or it was no, it was Mandalorian. Still, <laughs> we was in one of those. I think it was Mandalorian. He was really good in it. Actually, Brian Posehn's in Mandalorian. Who? That makes me happy. Brian Posehn. Who's makes Brian Posehn? Uh, tall comedian. He was on. Um, it's a foil to Patton Oswalt. Yeah, I'm trying I would to probably know him if I saw on. him. I probably he know. Was on, he plays on Nerd Poker. If you've ever yeah, heard that podcast. News Radio, right? He played. Yes, the male he guy. was the or no, but no, no um, it, uh, with David Spade and Laura yeah, San Giacomo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just shoot me. Uh, ah, just shoot me. Yeah. <laughs> just shoot. What's his last name? Posehn. Posehn. P O S E H N. I think. Yeah. He also wrote Deadpool. Oh shit! For yes, bit. I know exactly who that is. I didn't know his name. Though. He signed back in my prom picture. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Best problem ever. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> the, it wasn't. <laughs> she had coke strapped to her leg the whole time. I didn't know about coke. What the fuck. Yeah, cocaine. I found it cocaine. Cocaine. Uh, the celebrity I chose was Mitch McConnell. <laughs> because I hate this game almost as I hate Mitch McConnell. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is... He had another yeah, mini he stroke did. on yeah, live television <laughs> the other day, and gosh darn it, the poor guy couldn't ha- happen to a better guy. Him. Anyway, those are my that's my movies and celebrities for this game. Dave, uh, I went with Russell Brand. Okay, ooh, ooh that's a good ooh. one. Not a dig at Russell Brand. Ooh. I mean, I'm not a huge Russell. Look. Man, I, I was. Russell Brand is, yeah, I get it, right? Yeah. And Russell Brand, it's a tough one because it's like. I think everybody loved him for about 10 minutes. Get into the Greek Rus- Russell Brand yeah, era. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I know he's also had like. Forgetting Sarah Marshall time, yeah. A pretty rough upbringing. And oh, so yeah, it's, no. It's Dude's one had of those it where it's like. But, however, I chose Russell Brand because he is British. Okay, this yeah. Game this was, game was made by a British. Oh, developer. that's right. That. Mm-hmm. Okay. And also, uh, at one point in time, he was an escort. So, and all you do in this game <laughs> is, is es- one... escort little please. <laughs> yes, that's a good <laughs> That's good very one. good. Very so, good. Russell Brand. Put way more thought into yep. it than I did. Me trying to be all topical. You did too, though. You got into Well, that's true. Mine was quantity over quality. <laughs> all, hey, baby, it all works. <laughs> <laughs> it's a free podcast. What do you want from us? I just did a movie and chose Sucker Punch. Ooh. That's how I felt with this game and reminded me of Sucker Punch. And, like, I thought it looked good when I actually got to it. I was like, oh, this is nothing like I thought it was going to be, and I don't like it. That's a good, (laughs) that's a really relatable analogy for me. Man, I was so disappointed with Sucker Punch the movie. What I don't. I've seen it, but I don't think I like went into it expecting anything. What were you, what were you expecting? I was expecting, punch? I don't know, just like all the interesting parts just weren't there. Like she starts moving side to side like she's dancing, and then there's nothing, and yeah, suddenly yeah. they're past this. Yeah, I expected it to be like a cool. I don't know. I enjoyed the premise, but then how he carried it out, I did not. Yeah, I did not care for. I thought Sucker Punch was pretty open. Just like, to me, I I watched it at home. Yeah, same. And, and like, I was oh, like, yeah, that's I, fine. I went to the theater yeah. like expecting like a big epic. Oh, no. I see. Oh, no, yeah, that's it was yeah, not. Yeah, this that. is better enjoyed when you can just get up and walk away whenever you want, go yeah. to the bathroom, you know. Yeah, I it's, think we got it on Netflix. It's a good yeah, <laughs> it's a good movie, but it's not like theater good. 
But I get it. I do get mm-hmm. the analogy for sure because I didn't know what to expect. I had other expectations for Sucker yeah. Punch as well, so it makes perfect sense to me. Well, can we get three good things out of the way? I got one. I okay. Can, I can contribute. I got a f- I think it's a strong one. I got a few got that I pulled. So, yeah. Dave, what do you got first? The thing that I liked the most about Frantic Flea was that... Okay, before I can't I can't explain it we, without talking about what the actual game. Is. Yeah, we do need to kind of establish mm-hmm. what the fuck because because it's not a platformer. It's, it, no, it it is, but it isn't. Yeah. It's a it's a platformer, but a platformer. Okay, imagine Sonic the Hedgehog, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. you got to collect rings, right? Okay, but the rings are little fleas. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. If you get hit, you lose the fleas, like Sonic loses the rings. Yeah. Right? Yep. Okay. In order to complete a level, you have to collect a certain number of fleas slash rings. Uh-huh. Um, and when Sonic gets hit and loses rings, you can pick up a few. You know what I mean? But there are always more. There's always more. And Frantic Flea, when you get hit, you lose all of them, and they kind of all just like... Teleport to sort different of places. randomly. Oh my god! <laughs> like, At least in if Sonic, you, if you jump, you can jump between levels. If you jump and one of those little fleas lands on the level above, I know it He's will stuck stay there. there. He's fucking stuck. You there. have to go back up there yes. and get it. Yeah, and also you know it's cool when you design when you decide it. You're like first level. What do we do? I don't know. Make like. All the jumps, like, just you're barely able to make the jump. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, what the fuck are mm-hmm. you doing, man? Because it's not like they're long jumps or anything. It's like, imagine a tiered cake, right? You and got you can't jump the- down. Yeah. You have to go to the edge and fall and off. Fall off. <laughs> but wait. If you- what was your good thing, though? Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's real easy to get into right. the bad things, I know. which we're getting to Jeez, real quick. Slide. Can we t- pucker my asshole back up? Yeah, hold on to it. Just hold it. Hold the, push the turtle head back in. Um, so the good thing that I, I did like this, the more fleas that you collect and rescue the more powerful your attacks are. Because mm-hmm. Frantic okay, has yeah. a spin attack. It's like a Tasmanian devil style. Yep. That's just what it is. He goes into a Taz tornado, uh, and he's able to kill enemies. Yes. If you have a bunch of fleas, you kill the enemies a lot faster. I substantially not faster. This. Substantially faster, yes. Because, man, base, Ooh, base level is fucking horse <laughs> shit. At you least you can like, keep yeah. tapping oh. it and, like, yeah. yeah, right. But if you don't tap just right and you get hit, yeah. boom, all those fleas are gone. They're gone. Yes. Oh, every single one of them. Yeah. You have yeah, to get, not. <laughs> and it's not like you have to get six. You right. gotta get 40. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's bad. It's okay. 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 All right. That was your good thing? That was my good thing. Yes. All right. I, I got a few sort of g- pretty generic at first here. I, I liked the color palette, I thought the animations were smooth. And music, yeah, I thought, I thought it looked okay. I'm it looked you. good. I, I yeah. thought it and, looked okay. Yeah, yeah. it was. It, it was reminded fine. me of a DOS, it looks better than a DOS some game, stuff. dude. Yes, yeah. absolutely, 100. percent This totally, it totally. Felt, like looking at a screenshot, yes. I'd have been like DOS game. It felt like a <laughs> yeah. DOS like, game. Like Leonardo DiCaprio pointing at yeah. DOS yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 DOS game. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, I thought the gauges and the dials were real easy to see. And I thought the the one thing I did think was neat was the the timer, Mm -hmm. the clock that keeps you Mm -hmm. try. It was a neat concept. It's just like a stopwatch clock down at the bottom, and one quarter of it is dark. So the presentation of it. Yeah, the presentation. You get into that one last quarter, it things the time's running out and yada 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 all the shit i hate but i thought that was neat and it just sort of was there mm. it wasn't in your face it was there for you to see and it what they weren't trying to stick it in your face and right. say time 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 right. but i thought that was a neat presentation i agree and honestly i'd go a step further and say that i think uh, that there are other ui elements that i thought were presented well that's like, kind of what i was getting at okay with the gauges and dials. Yeah, and yeah. like when there you get that like thermometer thing at the yeah. end where it like fills up for how many fleas you got. Yeah, like that's, so, that's and I can't nice. fathom filling that whole fucker up. 
It no, would be can't, impossible. Can't wrap my head around imagine, this. Imagine, or next to impossible for someone who's just casual and doesn't do it for like. Because the minimum, the minimum money. to beat the level will fill up like an eighth of the game. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Spent, it's like, what the fuck? I spent an hour playing two levels of this game. Because I like, I try to give a game an hour. Yeah. If I like it more, I'll play more. But we've been doing a lot of shit games recently, yeah. so it's been run, like an hour. So, but with Frantic Flea, it was like, I got like two levels. Yeah. Two levels. It's, it's, I think it's kind of, I think it's pretty hard because of I the, agree. The, because it's harder than it hard. should be. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know what they were going for, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's harder. It's because you lose all your fleas anytime you're hit. Yeah. And sometimes when you're hit, it feels super cheap. Yeah, like oh, yeah, super cheap. Well, enemies come out of nowhere. They come out of in no- Sonic. Yep. You can see your enemy on different levels. You know, you're not giant with little. I mean, wait, they come out wait, of, right, 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 out of right, nowhere. Right. We're on good things, Tyler. You had a couple. You said let's. Uh, I think the looks of it, and then I like that they. I like that it's not just running and jumping to gather fleas. They have at least you know like the that bike. And where you can fly, I like that they have a few more options. Right. It's not completely bland, like it very easily mm. could have been. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. Mm-hmm. Okay, that that's things. it. <laughs> and I mean the the going back to the looks, I think in Tyler, you mentioned like Rocco's Modern Life. Mm-hmm. I totally got Rocco's Modern Life vibes from in game play. The big computer screens yes, that were totally. like tilted, and, 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 and yes. I even got like Rugrats from like the color palette a little bit because yeah. there's a lot of those purples. Very and, like, much the, the rug- color scheme. It was very Nicktoons. It was the whole thing, yeah. and it was very '90s. Yes, but not in a. Not in an annoying way. No. It was a well presented representation of like Which 90s makes it all pop the culture. more disappointing. Yes. <laughs> true. True. Bes- except for the fact that I know Tyler's got this on his bad list. The sprites are too fucking big. Your main flea. If I was the size of the fleas you have to collect, cool. But yeah, let me drag it, let me drag out the pixel horse. But, but yeah, the, the horse. <laughs> Do you know why Frantic is as large as he is? There's a l- in lore is he based, reason. Okay, is he based on the Barbie sprite? Because that's what I felt like jumping around. <laughs> he when he was on the uh, yes, let me check my notes. I don't have this memorized, unfortunately. Was it, when he was in the Insidios battleship where all the fleas had been captured. Mm. He snuck on board and freed them, but it was so dark that they all freaked out. That's why they all ran away. They panicked. Okay. And when and when Frantic was going to look for him, he stumbled upon an Enormotron, uh, which he decided to use to make himself large. Okay, but he's too big for the screen. <laughs> I mean, look, that's not Frantic's fault. <laughs> he just flitted the Enormotron. No, it's the game designer's fault for making his sprite no, too the big Enormatron. for the screen. Uh, the, also, I'm with the Invisa whatever you said. The Insidios. I mean, I'm, I'm with <laughs> them. Do, do you know why? You need all the fleas to Insidios. fucking go away. Do you know why <laughs> the Insidios captured all the fleas? Because fleas suck. You know what? That's a really good reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's an incredibly reasonable like, okay, mm-hmm. I could, yeah, totally. I'm on board. I'm with the inside of I had a cat that was white that used to get black with fleas. Oh. We had to, when we would give him a pill to kill him, and they would just, his skin would be just covered in fleas and flea dirt. We'd have to bathe oh, yeah. him every summer. He would go, th- and it would happen like overnight. Yeah. Like I would, he would be fine. And then the next day I would go and check it and I'd pull his fur back in the other direction and he'd be covered. Oh. And I'd be like, and if that shit happened on like a Sunday when the vet That's was closed, closed, oh my God, oh. it was awful. Oh. The first house we lived in in Murray didn't know when we rented it, that it was infested with fleas. So we had fleas on our legs all the time, and we were fucking constantly smelling flea-killing spray. We finally had to move out of there. Uh, I hate fleas uh, for very good reason, and so I wish wish that they had kept them in this game. I wish he'd really had taken all the fleas and killed them. It is an incredibly odd choice to make a flea. I am not rooting for the survival of of fleas. You know, it didn't have to. Why does it have to be a flea? The, like the weird era of mascot platformers, where it, it's just like I know, but like it could you could have chosen different 
creature. I like what mice. Rob's with frantic. It, uh, flea, flea is it? I don't flea, know. Can no we other think of something with like a grasshopper? I don't. Gassy <laughs> grasshopper. I don't know. <laughs> bees. Even bees are. Dis- uh, are Jerry nest- Seinfeld's got that unlocked. Can't touch bees. <laughs> He's got jazz bees. True. No one can. <laughs> <laughs> you see that bee? Fuck that woman. We can't. We can't top that. <laughs> no, we couldn't do that. This is a kid's show. The Insidios captured the fleas because they're jealous of all of their appendages. Because you see, the Insidios don't have any arms or legs. So they're jealous of any creature that has more than one arm or leg. What? How about Magnificent Millipedes? They have all sorts of appendages. Did they goddamn. Who? Or an octopus. That was my first thing. But but (laughs) it's because they found the planet, Flea World. And uh, there's so, a whole world of them. That's well, that's where Frantic and all his friends are from. They're oh. from Flea World. Um, God, and then the Insidios awful. found the planet and they got really jealous. So they, they should have just nuked it from orbit. And yeah. they, that would have been a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's in Starfield. <laughs> hey, oh, I hope so. So for I'm gonna nuke the flea planet from orbit in my Starfield spaceship. For being able to lose all your fleas at a single hit, there is. In addition to enemies, there is too much bullshit. Environmental effects. Yeah, that, I hate that this you shit, can't dude. tell. Blue electricity that, is fine. Right. And it's yellow like, electricity. <laughs> I know, man. Wait, it's y'all don't know like, the difference between blue and yellow <laughs> oh Come my on. Gosh. Come on. But, but then, like the, <laughs> the vines, the thorny vines in the second level. Like, I, I was didn't avoiding even make those. It to the no, you can, level. you can walk through those, no problem. Yeah. It makes no, no fucking it's sense. It's a guessing game on like what hurts you. And also, like, with that electricity, the timing on it is like, homie, you're fucking with me, man, because it's like, it'll do like, it's what? almost like it's One randomized. Second? <laughs> right? Five seconds. It is, because it's like short. 15 seconds. Long. And I'm, I'm watching the pattern. It's like, okay, okay, okay. Like, short, long. Long, short, long. Okay, got it. Short, short, short. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yep, yep. Every time without fail. And it's like all the fleas are like, they make kitten sounds. When you get hit, they're like, meow. <laughs> I th- they, can't, they sound like the Pokemon Chansey to me whenever it was just Chansey, Chansey. <laughs> But I was like, are they saying help me, Chancy, Daddy? What are they? <laughs> I get it's a I, big flea. I guess he's their dad. Like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I try I to. I try to give. A, I try to give a game an hour as well, at least. I get. Uh. Uh-uh. I nope the fuck out of this one. Mm-hmm. Five, maybe ten minutes in. Okay. I, I immediately just hated this game. I lied. I played it for forty minutes. Oh. I try. Oh. I try to do an hour, but. No, it's 40, not 40 worth minutes it. in, it's man. Not were, worth it. it was eight <laughs> times longer than I played it. <laughs> it was like, no, man, this game. Uh, uh, terrible. <laughs> too many Awful. too many leaps Awful. of faith. Yeah. Yes. I hate yeah. that shit. I hate when you can't see below you. You can't duck to see below you. You can't do anything. Yeah, you can't. Dr- not being able to drop <laughs> down a level is fucking dumb. Not, you can dr- jump up. Through yep. the levels, but you can't drop down to a right. level. Yep. And then sometimes there's nothing down there, and you go to jump. I'm like, ah, this will be a new place it's where yeah. some fleas, and you <laughs> die, and you start all fucking over again. You can't again. move the camera to see what's above nope. or below you. Terrible. Or anything like that. You're awful, awful, awful. On the first awful. level, I jumped yes. to my death many times oh, thinking yeah. I would just descend further, or that's where the level ended, or right. I had no idea I had to go back yeah. to the tunnel at the very, very top once I got 20. Yeah, God. me either, man. I got yep. it by accident. Yep. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't. Okay, the, the level's over. <laughs> yep. I was thinking at the very end in the corner would be. No. Right, right. Same. Nope. I mean, yeah. it would have been one thing if there was a way for you to deposit ones that you've caught. Giddy up. Right? Mm. Yes. I mean, that's a great idea. Add that. That's a great idea. And this idea. game would have yep. been 100% better. <laughs> yes. If I could pick up two or three, run them to the top, go pick up two or three more, run them back to or, the top. Yep. Or if you kill an enemy when you've got them. You bank however many there are. So any Some, something form of something banking the ones you've collected. Enemies respawn way too fast. Holy shit, they do. So you That's on my clear, list. I literally you think you clear that. to get there, yeah, and then by the time you get back, you get hit. And they go oh, so back. fast, and they because the sprite's so big, which means the level, yeah. you can't see enough of the level, the fucker comes out of nowhere. I'm like, I just killed you. Yeah. I just, fuck, God damn it. Oh, I was so <laughs> fucking mad at this game. I'm not always on the sprite is too large train but mm. i'm definitely on it with this game because mm. ian i 100 agree if this had just been scaled down 
Fifty percent. Fifty. Give me, give me fifty percent. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, okay, I can see where these enemies are. Exactly. I can see if it were like, level. even if it were like Donkey Kong, Kong style, half the sprite size. There we go. Yeah. We got a game. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey Kong style, even where yeah. you could see the whole level, right. and you could, you have you could form a plan, and you could see what you. Uh uh-uh. uh. It wasn't any of that. Yeah. And I, and I got a very kind of a Donkey Kong-ish vibe from this game in the sense that the way the level was set the up. The way it's structured. And the way it's yeah. structured. And the, sort of the idea being that you got to make it to the top. It just, it fell apart so fucking fast. And, you know, I've talked shit about some games, and I said, you know, T2, the Terminator game that we played, that I hated. Uh, yes. You know, that one... For me, it was more of a what the fuck? Mm-hmm. This doesn't make. And when they get to the motorcycle riding and the thing, and I'm just like, this is, this doesn't make sense. Yeah. I'm not even gonna. This is dumb. This this game, Frantic Flea, made me actually mad, dude. It's fucked up. To, it's it's you a bring bad up Terminator game. Two, and I'm I'm like, is Frantic Flea worse than Terminator Two? It and I might think the be. answer is yes. Yeah, I think and, I would it, rather play Terminator Two. There's a frustration factor. First of oh, all, yeah. at, frantic least, flea is the, at least the Frantic Flea frustration factor. Frantic Flea frustration factor. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call this episode. I, I Please, at least versus the world versus the world. <laughs> I at least know the Terminator franchise and can try to piece something out of it. You know, right? This is nothing out of nothing, and it it, it was it was one of the worst games I've ever played. I I hated this. I want to read something to you guys if I can. Uh, <laughs> this is from the this is from a 1996 interview. Um, that Andy Whitehurst did, and he was the creative director of House Technica, who is the developer the, the of this British game. British developer of this game, yes. And uh, trivia question, a couple trivia questions mm. before, we, before we get into this. Name another game that House Technica has developed. Can't do it. It is impossible. They they only have <laughs> frantic flee. Oh. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> they didn't even try to get better. What year did this game come out? Uh, it was nineteen ninety six, wasn't it? Ding 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 ding. Oh my god. So ding, 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 ding. Oh my god. Very late in yeah. the in the Super Nintendo. Man, if we could I wish I had a Geiger. Yeah, Mario card RPG. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like nineteen ninety six for this. Wow. Holy God. Yeah, there's not. That would have been even... impressive if it were like a ninety one. Because of the know, way it be like, looks. Okay, right, well, sure. That's yeah. really good. It's a ninety six. So, so keep that nineteen ninety six keep that in your brain mm. while I read this, okay? This is with an interview. Uh, with Electronic Gaming Monthly in 1996, uh, where the creative director said, what we were trying to show is that despite 16-bit graphical limitations, you can actually make a video game look like a cartoon. We wanted Frantic Flea to look like a 50s or 60s Warner Brothers cartoon and to have the same zany feel, almost Dr. Seuss-like, I'm fine with all of this uh-huh. so far. It's like, okay, you're just... You said that's one, what you're, That's what yep. you're trying to do. Yep. Which nobody has tried before in a video game. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's how he ended that statement. So I'd like to uh, read a couple games. Uh, Roadrunner's Death Valley Rally. Yeah. Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. <laughs> Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday, 1995. Roadrunner's Death Valley Rally, 1992. Tiny Toon Adventures, Buster Bust Loose, a fantastic fucking yes. video game mm-hmm. that I believe really captures the yeah that the zany exact thing. Fucking playing football, jumping on trains, fucking yeah. Nineteen ninety three, Daffy Duck, The Marvin Missions, which absolutely like went mm-hmm. for the style of all of those Buck Rogers, or Duck sorry, Duck Dodgers <laughs> uh, <laughs> cartoons. Nineteen ninety three. Acme Animation yep. Factory. Yeah. A video game that literally is about <laughs> making <laughs> making animations, animations of the Looney Tunes style. Looney Tunes style. <laughs> yeah. 1994. Animaniacs, which God. <laughs> does a really good Here's, job okay. of capturing the cartoons. Ross, did you style. get cartoons over there? <laughs> Let us know. Here's what I think. Here's what I think. What was the name of this company? House Frau Brown Mouse House, House Technica. House Technica made blenders. House, ne- House Frau Brown Mouse. <laughs> I think world. I think House Technica <laughs> made blenders for decades. 
<laughs> and did nothing but make blenders. They never watched TV. They never saw a movie or a cartoon. But then somehow they were contracted to make a video game. And so that's why he made that statement. This has never been done. Like we're every- breaking ground here. Yeah, for a blender company. I'm just a little <laughs> upset that like it feels as if Either mm. he was completely ignorant about these games, or was he being ironic? Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knew the game was shit. He's like, oh yeah, this is see, they, they, <laughs> this has never been done before. <laughs> many people, believe- many people want to make a zany, <laughs> zany video game. <laughs> It'd be tremendous, they say. No one's ever tried it. <laughs> we are the first, and I don't think I. Just to be clear, I'm being sarcastic and teasing about the blender thing. I don't know that. I'm just I'm not saying they really made blenders. Squaresoft, man. Squaresoft was like a power company, like an electric company. They provided they were Shinra. power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. they were Shinra. And then like video games started becoming a thing and they were like Oh, let's make some video games. <laughs> so it's not did. outside the realm of possibility. It's not outside, like, absolutely. There's basis to your you theory. You know, you guys make Probably the best blenders I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I got an idea. I worked for a video game distribution. What would you guys think about developing a video game? Uh, sure. sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Can we put a blender in it? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. We, it's, we're, Nintendo won't approve that. Uh, Non-Looney Tunes. Super Nintendo games that I feel like oh. captures <laughs> the animated spirit. I'm sorry. I, I know. I'm sorry. On. Earthworm Jim, uh huh, nineteen ninety four, hundred percent. Super Mario World two, nineteen ninety five. All these all came out before oh. Frantic Fleet. Uh huh. Street Fighter Alpha two for the Super <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> came out the same year. It technically came out a few months yeah. later. Still, I'm fucking counting it because that game's beautiful. It's gorgeous. What it's you're saying, anime on a Super Nintendo cartridge. What you're saying, yeah, is effectively that House Technica House. Technica. There's Hose. an umlaut over yeah, the U. It's H-A-U-S. So it would be more like Hoos Hose. Technica mm-hmm. uh, has failed where literally everyone else has succeeded before them. Uh, I don't I, Some of these games I listed, I, I, I loathe. Tiny Toons, I would <laughs> but, call the the success. But <laughs> what a, yes. Okay. But what I'm saying is, it's he's been, just wrong. He's this is wrong like people to say have definitely that it's not tried it to do this yeah. before. They say, they say <laughs> no yeah. one's ever attempted it. We're going to the first. Jerry, I mean, it's like the Yogi yeah. Bear. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck, man? I said we were the first. <laughs> Even you, This interview me? is over. <laughs> this interview is over. Even that fucking out to lunch game. That I think was yeah. also a British game where you caught vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just such a was there wild a Veggie statement. Tales game? <laughs> was there a Veggie Tales game or probably. a or a Teletubbies game? Because they probably would have done Super a Noah's Ark 3D. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Shaq yeah. Food, the zaniest of Outworld. <laughs> we, I just we wanted have, to share that statement. That's, no, was, that's awesome. That's good. I love that that, 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 that was actually absolutely. said in public. Uh, this is a bad game, y'all. Where did it lose you? Do you know the exact moment where it lost you? Mm-hmm. God damn, man. The first time, first I, time lost, I lost, I got like fleas. five fleas and got hit by some bullshit. It was bullshit it electricity. Was bullshit yeah. electricity. Yeah. Versus the world. Versus the world. <laughs> Whenever I Lunch press... egg. <laughs> <laughs> when I press start and it came up, collect 20 to continue, I was like, Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is going to be terrible. I hate games like this. Yes. yes. Did not did not disappoint in the regard that I knew it would be disappointing. <laughs> uh, buy rent or birthday. Don't do any of these yeah, things. Yeah, man. But None. Uh, back in the Don't day, I would have rented it. And then I would have been mad. I rented it because it least, looked good and then be mad. But at least yeah. I only lost two ninety nine or whatever the fuck it cost to rent them. God, I'd have been mad at that. I'd gotten this for my birthday. I'd have been grateful. Because I try to be grateful anytime anyone gives me anything, but well, when you first get it, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Yeah, but boy, I'd be like, "Oh my god, this is shit." <laughs> do I have any achievements? I do. I've got three. Yeah, same. Go ahead, Ian. Daddy daycare. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> to get daddy daycare, 
collect 19 fleas and then lose them to some <laughs> bullshit. I, I had that, but called Sonic Rings ain't shit. <laughs> lose, lose 40 fleas and I hit. <laughs> there you go. Um, my next one is shock it to me. And to get shock it to me, you lose whatever fleas you've collected by walking to some <laughs> bullshit electricity. Could you? I love that achievement. Could you do me a favor, please, and do it as Richard Nixon? <laughs> <laughs> My next achievement is shock it to me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. My last achievement shock is shock it to me. Shock it to me. <laughs> I love laughing. All right. My last achievement. Raid. <laughs> and to get Sh Shadow Legends? Raid. <laughs> you buy this game used, receive it in the mail, <laughs> unbox it, set it on the kitchen table, spray the cartridge generously with Raid <laughs> brand flea and tick spray as well as some gasoline. <laughs> Set the cartridge on fire. Burn your house down. And when the firefighters come to your house and ask what happened, you say, Raid! <laughs> <laughs> it's my last achievement. Dave, what you got? I got a few. First achievement is, uh, Lonely as I am, together we cry. Uh, <laughs> in order to unlock... <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Good timing. Good, good <laughs> shit. In order, in order to unlock Lonely as I Am Together We Cry, you end a level alone, having rescued no fleas. <laughs> um, my next achievement is I like pleasure spiked with pain, and music <laughs> is my aeroplane. Uh, in order to unlock that, you uh, gain the wings power up in this oh. game, which allows you to fly. Yep. Uh, my next achievement is um, what I've got. You've got to get it, put it in you. <laughs> <laughs> put it in you? Put it in, <laughs> put it in you? And, and order to unlock. <laughs> gonna, gonna get it, put it in you. <laughs> what? Okay. I want to hug and kiss I you. I want to hug and kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> in order to unlock what I've got, you've got to get it, put it in you, is <laughs> convince someone to put you Frantic Flea in their SNES. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> My next achievement is... I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. In order to unlock, I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. You remember the first time you played Frantic Flea? Oof. Yeah. And yeah. then I have a non Red Hot Chili Peppers one called <laughs> Com Comfleationist. <laughs> <laughs> it was too good to <laughs> exclude from my Red Hot Chili Peppers <laughs> achievements. So in order to unlock come fleasionist, you get 100% of the fleas on any stage in the game. It's impossible. Damn. No one's done it. No, no <laughs> one. No More one people have to. climbed Everest than they have collected. <laughs> That's a probably a true statement. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> rare, the rare themed achievements <laughs> by Dave are always oh, one of my favorite things. Well done, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I had fun putting this together. <laughs> <laughs> My other two were, uh, was that not a place? Jump off a ledge on purpose because you think it's the place you have to go. Yes, and I got that one. Heard it through yes. the grapevine. Kill 20 of the purple guys because they look sort of like uh, the California raisins. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Tyler. Do you mean the scroll, scroll, <laughs> insidios? Insidios. <laughs> well, we want to see what Flopsy's got to say. I do. I do. I also am curious if you guys were to buy this, how much you'd pay for oh, it. God. I want to do that first. Eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Yeah, I'm gonna say I've never seen it. I've only heard of it. I bet no one bought it. Came out in ninety six. I'm gonna aim high and say forty six dollars. Forty six dollars. I like your logic. I like your logic. Actual retail value of Frantic Flea for the Super Nintendo, loose on average. According to PriceCharting.com, at the time of this recording, is eleven dollars twenty nine cents. Mm, okay. Got it. I let my personal bias influence my decision oh. here, but I feel like my personal bias is going to be shared by fucking literally anyone yeah. who plays <laughs> yeah. this game. They'll be like, "I paid forty dollars." We'll for find this out. Thing. We'll <laughs> find out oh. what Flopsy said. 
I don't know the answer to it, oh. but I bet it's too high. What do you think the ultimate Nintendo guide to the SNS library gave a frantic flea? God, I'm going to enraged, enragingly say two and a half stars. Ooh, that's high. Two and a half stars, mm -hmm. and I think this is very uncommon. I am with you on the very uncommon. I also uh, think this is very on uncommon. my notes. I have very uncommon. Yeah, right I now. think this is very uncommon. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go on further out on a limb and oh. say there is some fucking maniac <laughs> in that goddamn book who gave it three stars. Some manic mantis. <laughs> <laughs> three and a half. Three. Th just three. 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 <laughs> okay, that's yeah. That was you're very I serious. Can't even yeah. say three. Three. I mean, I, I'm ashamed uh, to even guess it. But yeah. I had some fucking idiots at three stars. <laughs> yeah. And I will call them. I will say, whoever that is, and if they call into the show, I will say, sir From or a madam, phone you are a fucking you idiot. you can see the search tree in it. <laughs> Good call day. Me on or a Click. Sports Illustrated football phone. Or a loaf. Or a Garfield <laughs> loaf. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't edit last week's show until like Sunday night, and I'm yeah. usually done with it. And I had forgotten <laughs> all about that, and I was listening to the end, and I was like, "Oh God, I forgot! Oh, this is good shit." <laughs> Thank you for bringing that back up. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna give it. So we're all we're all on board. Very uncommon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ian two and a half. Yeah. Tyler three. Yeah. I'm gonna go two because I think that's what it deserves. Yeah. Then but it'll, probably it'll be four. It'll I would even God. say it deserves lower. It deserves yeah, lower. Maybe one and a half even. I don't know. Okay. You got to you got to round up a little with them. According to Flopsy, aka the Ultimate Nintendo Guide to the SNES Library 1991 to 1998 by Pat Contry, courtesy of Monster Mold Mike and a mysterious benefactor. Don't you fucking mess with me, Flopsy. You better be good to us this time. Frantic flea. Availability. Uncommon. Okay. okay. All right. I'm really, really surprised. Me too. Stars. Two and a half. Nailed it in one. Two and a half. Fucking stupid. God. <laughs> God. Fucking stupid. We don't have to do this, but we know good and well there are plenty of games in that book that are worth two and a half stars, and this one is not one of them. It's really, it's super. It is super not. This game is. <laughs> It's on par with one of the worst ones I've ever played. I was just going to ask, where would this go? Top 100, bottom 100? All the way at the bottom. Definitely in the bottom 100. Yeah. I'd even crest the bottom 50 to bottom 25. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I know there's a lot of really bad Jeez. ones. That's rough. I don't know <laughs> if I'd go quite that low, but definitely bottom 100 for mm -hmm. me. Um, there are other games. There are worse games. That are a little more charming to me, like race driving. Uh, but like, there's also like, I sit here and I'm like, would I rather play Frantic Flea or Cool World? And I think I would rather play Cool World. I yeah. really do. Cause Cool World is so like fucking busted and broken that yep. it's, there's some, there's some fun in that. Right. Some charm. But Frantic yeah. Flea is just like bad, a poorly bad. designed video game. Yep. And like that's way, way, way less yeah, entertaining. I'd rather play Bay Base Kids. I'd rather I'd play, rather play, I'd Bay play Bay 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 all rather play all of the tropey, awful games. Sure, yeah, yeah. Str street sure. hockey, sure. I'd rather play this in street hockey. I'd rather play this it's in street hockey. Street hockey is still, still the still worst Super the Nintendo game. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. We did it. We got it. Tyler. Yes, Dave. If you were to give this game a beard that sums up how you feel about it, what kind of beard would you give it? Justin Bieber's facial hair. <laughs> Does he have facial hair? He's tried. Oh, I didn't it's know. shitty. Oh yeah, I mean that's it. Looks that's ridiculous. Okay, I can't think of Justin Bieber without. And actually... you might think like he could grow a beard and look more mature, look older because he's still baby faced. I don't know. It's every bit of what you think it would be in an <laughs> SNL skit. <laughs> I, I was about to say I can't think of. Just you say Justin Bieber, and I think Kate McKinnon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kate McKinnon has more facial hair. I'm sure, than Justin Bieber. And that's not a dig at her. No, <laughs> wonderful. One of my favorite comedians on the planet. I love her facial hair. Yes, <laughs> um, Tyler. Yes, Dave. If you were to give this game a pair of glasses, it sums up how you feel about it. What kind of glasses would you give it? The blood streaked eyes 
post lobotomy in Sucker Punch. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, all right, that makes sense. Bringing it back for the high roller lobotomizes what's her name? Man, Pinkie Pie or some shit. Boy, it has been a long time since I've seen <laughs> that movie. Baby, <laughs> baby girl, baby face. Some, some, some. Baby girl sounds right. Yeah. That sounds right. <laughs> All right, so I say next week, are we going to do Sea of Stars? Let's do Sea of Stars. Sea of Stars. I'm okay. on board. I've already started, and I'm, I got enough to say already, okay. so I think we're there. All right. Cool. Strike while the iron's hot. Thanks That's for listening, everybody. Sorry, I interrupted No, no, no. That's no, okay. all good. Thanks for listening, everybody. You can find the show on iTunes, not Stitcher, Spotify, uh, not SoundCloud, but anywhere else. We're Wherever all over there. All over the fucking place. Are sold. I'm going to cut right to the chase, because we got that. Patreon. Patreon.com. Taste the piss. Or piss tasters. Yeah. Com. God, man. Get you. <laughs> well, you got to taste the piss first before you will know if you're going to be a piss taster. <laughs> and if you want to do that, we'll cover that in a minute. Uh, the Patreon is where you can give us some money. Yeah. We have discussed some tier level rewards coming up. We've got to have a talk and a meeting. Yeah, we got to get, get back on that. We We've got ideas. another little project that I we know. need to tell Tyler too, about, too. Um, that we want to try. But anyway, we if you would like to give us money just simply because you like us, we do have some bonus content. We have some really cool actual plays on there. We got to pay um, for this dehumidifier. We got to pay for the dehumidifier. Um, and you can do that at patreon.com slash tadpog or pisstasters.com. We have a list of executive producers. These are the fine folks that donate $20 or more per month to the show because they're such generous good people. And I'm going to read the list of names right now, starting with Usurper Grimm, Cousin David Galino, Plinko Nick Price, Cubicle Monkey, Enthusiast Jeff Miners, Master Cycle Baron Kevin Link, Joseph Phillips, Game Bug Prime, Nathan Eaton, Matt Gentile, a.k.a. Gentle G, uh, Louisville Correspondent, Princess Consuela Banana Hammock, Flavor Trick, Taryn Dahl, congratulations on your marriage and thanks for all the Louisville facts. Pinball Airplane, Plane, Archmage, Chris Edler. Sorry I butchered your name, and we're sorry you couldn't be on this episode. Platinum member Brett Miller. Sandwich Pope Phil Hawkins. Nate from Utah, first-time caller. Drinksmith Joey Webster. Dig Dougie. Derek Pope Sandwich. And Cody Phillips. Thank you guys so much. Uh, hell yeah. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Give them a big hell yeah. And we uh, also want to thank Mr. Puzzles, Backlog Banisher himself, Dame. Uh, for putting our show up on YouTube every week just because he wants to. Uh, Buffalo chicken. Super. Buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken. Damn it. Mm. It's super cool that you do that. It's really nice to have our stuff on that platform. Uh, so thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. Uh, if you want to get in on the conversation, tell us what you think about the show. Talk to us. Get to know us. Get to know our other listeners. Uh, we do have a Discord at tastethepiss.com. Taste the piss. Taste the piss. We've also got a new donation from... Bubba Shane. That's right. Yeah, we Bubba do. Shane. Thank, Thank you. you so much for that. And uh, anyway, we do love hearing from all of you. We love that everybody likes to kind of gather and shoot the shit on the Discord. So it's free. Come on in, hang out, and uh, let's get to know you. We'd love to we'd love to hear from you. We're going to start charging for it, though, real soon. So get in that. And it's going to, yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a lie. Be, Don't worry. Be, I'm not lying to them. I'm you'll be grandfathered in, but after that yeah, paywall goes right. up. They've it's been putting like, this shit off too long. Get in now. We're going to start paying. <laughs> we're going to start paying for it. It's $100. Any, yeah. 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 Minimum. Easily. Jug of piss. That's just to get into the general chat. <laughs> right. If you went into the actual podcast right. discussion channel, channels. it's like, yeah. <laughs> I want to get in on the Frantic Flea channel? <laughs> oh. Oh. You can get in that. We'll let you into that one for free. But that's all I've got, I think. Well, our theme song is moved by Sycamore Drive. Link to that track. Find the shows at tapbog.com. Hey, guys, we're going to close it out. Quickly. All right. So until next time. Travel. 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 <laughs> we need a cough button for me. You have one. What? It's right there. <laughs> oh, just mute myself. <laughs> It'll still come through this. So yeah. <laughs> I'm sure by now everybody's used to hearing me clear my throat every fucking 15 seconds. And if they're not... It's more Miller's goddamn sniffs. Yeah. Oh, my God. I really wish I had made the a 20-minute sniff cut from the whole Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> I remember you saying you wanted to do that. I really, I got halfway through before I thought of it, and I was like, man, I've already cut so much out. I just won't worry about it, but man, I should have. Have you heard the, the Hulk Hogan sniff cut? <laughs> it's, uh, I think so. Wherever I, think he's... I think it's Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> hmm.
You want me to edit? You want me to download the sniff cut and make it our transition <laughs> for this week? <laughs> it's twenty minutes. I'm not doing twenty minutes. <laughs> 18 I'll do, but not fucking, not fucking 20. That's just too much. Yeah, I'll look for it. <laughs> I, I don't know the right, I don't know the right word to use. And they took like, I think it's him. I'm sure you guys have probably seen the video. It might've been, might, might've been Randy Savage where they, cause like they take a, I guess a, fucking kayfabe like rant or something and they cut out all the words and it's just all the <laughs> in between like, in between the phrases <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, it, it was it was probably randy savage i know like he would go because he was he was ooh, hulk hogan i'll see if i can find it yeah I've, my I partner fucked Brandon's mom. Ooh, brother. 